Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be showcasing and doing a customization guide for the new Corquette Classic car which has recently been introduced into GTA 5 Story Mode and GTA 5 Online since the Flight School DLC. Now the first look to this car you can see this car is a stunning classic car based off the 1968 Chevrolet Corvette. The car itself is generally nice to look at, it is a stunning classic car and it's also very nice and enjoyable to drive. There are two different variants available for this car. Simply what you want to do to purchase this car is go onto your phone, go to Transport and Travel, and you can find the two variants on the Legendary Motorsport website. So as you can see, there is the Corquette Classic. So this is the hardtop version, and it's available for $665,000. And the Corquette Classic Topless is, of course, the topless version without the hardtop, and it is available for $695,000. So it is quite a costly car, but the car itself is definitely worth every dollar. If you're just like myself and you don't actually have enough money to purchase this car on GTA 5 Online, you can go into story mode, go inside your own personal garage, and you can select this vehicle from the special vehicles list. This car is definitely something which you want to store in your online garage, especially if you're into classic cars. Now even if you're not, I still highly recommend you give this car a test drive. Simply go into story mode, select this vehicle in your personal garage from the specialist vehicles list and give it a test drive completely for free, it won't cost you anything and you'll find this car is a very nice car to drive and it is a stunning car to look at. So anyway, moving on to the customization guide for this car and my first recommendation is to try and keep the car as standard as possible. Now the first thing which you definitely want to be upgrading on this car is the brakes. The standard brakes unfortunately are not very good, especially if you want to brake late into the corners. So definitely choose the best brakes available. There are also several different bumpers to choose from. Now I highly recommend that you don't actually upgrade the bumper at all. You can see the bumpers available just take away that whole classic look. It takes away the chrome strip and it tries to add a splitter which you don't necessarily need. It is the exact same for the rear bumper as well. The only rear bumpers available take away that chrome strip which I personally think takes takes away that classic look. You definitely want to be upgrading this car as much as you can without physically changing the looks because it will ruin the whole classic feeling to this car. So you definitely want to be upgrading things like the engine and the armour on this car. Now I myself don't really understand why Rockstar have given us the choice to fit carbon panels on a classic car like this. The whole idea of a classic car is that you keep it looking old fashioned and as standard as possible. But once you start fitting these more modern panels, especially the carbon panels, it just ruins the whole classic styling in general. Now I myself think the colour red goes really nice with this car, it just goes with the whole styling in general, although I will be upgrading the shade and I will be changing it to a formula red because the formula red looks slightly nicer and it has that slightly darker look to it rather than having that slightly brighter red version. You definitely want to be having the exact same primary and secondary colour, don't try and mix things up and have different primary and secondary colours because it will just ruin the whole look to this car. Now although I fitted a roll cage to the car in this video, I cannot say that it actually improves the looks of this car, if anything I think it ruins them, but I guess it comes down to your personal preferences, so if you wanted to fit a roll cage you do have the option to do so. You definitely want to be upgrading the wheels in this car because the standard wheels don't look very good, I don't think it actually matches the whole styling of this car. Now as you can see I'm going through these wheels trying to find a set of wheels which matches this car and you will find it is quite difficult because most of the wheels don't go with the whole styling of this car. But eventually I did find a set of wheels which did go with the car and I think the blaze wheels from the high end vehicles does go very nice with this car especially if you change the wheel colour and you put the red wheel colour on it. So you've got that red stripe on the wheels which matches the paint job on this car. Now although I fitted custom tyres on this car, I'm not so sure again that it goes with the whole classic theme that you get with this car. Again it comes down to your personal preferences, but you definitely want to be fitting bulletproof cars and some red tyre smoke to go along with the paint job. So there you have it guys, that is the customization guide for this car. The main thing which I want to emphasise is that you want to keep this car as classic as possible. You don't want to be changing the styling of this car too much, but you definitely want to be upgrading the brakes because the standard brakes in this car are not very good. So there you have it guys, that is just about it for this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys could just take a few seconds out of your day to like the video, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me what you think of this car and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.